Hey guys, my name is Safe and welcome to VFXO. And today I have a very very exciting tutorial. It's about a 360 video and we gonna learn how to make a virtual reality video a 360 for YouTube using Adobe After Effects and Element 3D. Okay, so first there is a script and plugin you have to download I'll put the link in the description below and it's called Skybox It's a 300, 360 video generator Okay, so enough talking and let's start the work Okay, so first here we are in After Effects and after you download the script you can go to file scripts and we have the skybox creator okay. so this is the skybox um, we need to create a new skybox master and this if you want to make a skybox from uh, current composition that you are working on okay we want to create a new composition uh, 1024 is the best I think uh, for your graphic card this will harmful your graphic okay so this is the best and let's turn 25 frame rate uh, duration I will take just uh, maybe 15 seconds okay. so you have to be sure to check this box but I'm using a 3D plugin uh, if you don't so you can't do work with you can't work with Element 3D or any uh, 3D layers, so you have to make sure to check this. And now, create Skybox Master. Okay, so we have this composition. I will put this here and need it later. We have this composition, and we will start to make some things in here first so I want to make like a tunnel from element 3d so first let's make a new solid let's call this element okay. and go to effect video pilot element Okay, so let's build, let's build something. Okay, if you don't have the motion design, it's actually a great, it have a great elements here. It's from video pilot, and I will put the description below also. Okay, so let's make something. Okay, let's take this beam. Okay. Let's rotate it. Okay. Press Alt and drag to make another copy. And we need to make a floor. So let's take this. Right now.
and Let's put this as a ceiling. I want to make it, uh, I want to make the tunnel long as much as I can. So the new in the version 2.2 that you can, let me show you. Make a new group one and put all of this, all of these elements to the group one. And to the main group one, we need the Z group symmetry. And what this group symmetry does? Let's go to the element group. the tunnel Let's do this. Okay. and the work will be much easier the, by the group symmetry okay. we need to put one here and one here but actually made by the same so we have to focus just on one on the other one So now let's press it clean. Now let's fix the position by the group one. Let's put an environment map. We have the apply environment. Let's do this one. And on the physical environment, 
let's show the environment and background okay. and the shadow and the implement occlusion okay. actually if you put the shadow and the ambient occlusion on ray trace that will be so much realistic but actually I can't do it because my graphic card doesn't support the ray trace so I will just go with this one okay and now let's animate this okay, so, so we want to animate the C position so let's hit the keyframe and go to the end of the line Okay, so after you finished your animation and your look that you are looking for, now go back to the Skybox Creator and just click on Generate Skybox Out. and you will end up with this it's actually a cube layers and from here in the effects control the input cube map the output the youtube uh, does take the rectangular This one and it looks actually like the reflection map and you can you can use this as a reflection map on element if you want uh, but this what YouTube take for the 360 video okay and you can also make it sphere map if you want like this but now we need it as a rectangular map okay so after you did this now we just need to export it and you have to, exp to export it as uh, mp4 because the metadata take the video as a as mp4 <clears throat> so you have to render this as a mp4 video because the metadata injector uh, needs just supported by uh, mp4 video and you have to download it from here i will put the link in the description below and it's provided by youtube and you have here the app for mac or windows okay so we want to render this now composition I will add it to Adobe Media Encoder so I need it as mp4 okay.
okay so h264 okay match source five bitrate okay and let's change the I already did it before, so let's change the save and let's start running. So I will skip this uh, whole process and come back to you. Okay guys, um, we finished the rendering and actually I, the metadata injector uh, didn't work with me on uh, my Apple Mac, I don't know why, but it's not a common problem, it's something uh, with my machine. So I decided to go to Windows actually, because it's working in there. But unfortunately, my screen recorder didn't work, so I I couldn't record uh, uh, the rest of the tutorial. But uh, listen to me, <coughs> it's very simple. The app that you will download, uh, you don't need to install it or something like that. It's just a uh, simple icon just double click on it and you will have a box and in this box there is open first you click open and then open your video after you open it there is a checkbox to spherical and three top pattern click check the spherical box and the three top then save as you can name it whatever you want it's by default name it like uh, the same name underscore injected you can name it whatever you want and this and then click save and after that it just take like two seconds to save it and it's done so you just have uh, to take your uh, injected video like this one this is the rendered output that we did and this the injected one so you have to upload the injected video to the YouTube and just simple as that and you will see it as a 360 video okay so I will put the link uh, in the description below for this example so you can check it out and that's it actually this is the end of the tutorial and I'm really sorry I couldn't uh, make it uh, as it has to be I'm really sorry I will try to uh, don't mess up with this important uh, details next time but I already <laughs> said to the people that I will uh, make a tutorial about 360 video and I promised to put it yesterday <laughs> not today so I'm really sorry for that and this is it I hope you like it and I appreciate your support please like and share and subscribe and we'll see you next time with something more better see ya